Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross Plus. In the last video, Kid seems to have misplaced her elements. But it looks like some little brat took him. Now, of course, after you leave Viper Manor, um, they give you the option to de-equipmentize anybody you want. And I always de-equipmentize Kid because, you know, I always know well, she's going to be non-playable for a little bit. So I took her elements off. Yet they still say that she's missing her elements and um, that Mel Corch's little sister stole them. So uh, it's kind of a. Uh, I took them off, but the story decided to have somebody else take them off. It was like, I don't think I lost her elements. I, I still have them. So you don't really have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, let's see. Um, do, do I talk to anybody? No, she's, uh, yeah, she wants to trade me materials for my extra elements, I'm gonna say maybe later. But she does have, um, okay, that's it. I thought, does, doesn't, actually, I can talk to her again. I thought she had something for me. Or maybe I already took it, maybe I already got it. Hmm, never mind. Let's see, do I talk to him? I, there's somebody I had to talk to. Demi humans in this village. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, somebody, somebody here has to talk to me. All right, he's uh, he's gonna ask me about shiny material, which is for rainbow stuff. But I'm not really gonna worry about that. Who am I supposed to? I think it's over at the uh, dragon shrine, maybe. I don't know. Or I know what we'll do. We'll go to Corch's house. Like, I know how to progress things, I'm just wondering how you're supposed to know. I'll go to Corch's house, and maybe somebody can- This is- This is Corch's house, this is his- Okay, there's his mom. Macha. Oh, hi there! there okay, she's not gonna say anything. Do I have to have- Can I- oh, I can't even change my party formation. Huh, who am I supposed to talk to? I think I'm supposed to go to the Dragon Shrine. Does this- Person say anything different? No. Uh, let's see. I hope I wasn't supposed to talk to the doc. That'd be kind of, uh, be kind of awkward. I'll just go to the dragon shrine. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Hey, guy. You say anything? Chief Diarrhea is in prayer. You may not enter the shrine now. Come back a little later. It shouldn't be that long. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. What brings you here, Korcha? It's rare to see you come out to this tower. Oh, never mind that. By the way, have you seen Mel around here? We're looking for her right now. Mel? No, I haven't seen her today. Have you tried the residential tower? I just came from there. So she hasn't come this way. Thanks for the info. As you've just heard, she hasn't come this way. The only place left is the residential tower. The sea is the only place to hide, but that's not likely. Once we corner her, it's all over. Let's go. Just go easy on her, dude. She's, you know, a little girl. Just playing a prank, that's all. Huh? Huh, what? Yep, that's her, all right. Got you now, you little squirt. Mel's heading for the residential tower. We got her cornered now. Okay, let's go. We should find her in no time. Yeah. I love Goldo's music. All right, now I think... This is the end. There's no place to run. <coughs> Excuse me. So what are we gonna do? If all three of us barge in at once, she's gonna escape. There are three exits to this tower. If we each go into a different exit, there's no escape. Yeah, nice little, uh... Listen up. Don't you dare let Mel get inside. Leave it to me, bro. All I have to do is block this exit from Mel, right? It's like trying to trap a cat. Yep, I'm counting on you. You gotta block off all its exit ways. Now there are two more left. We'll, e we'll even end up with some manpower to spare. It's game over, Mel. Let's do it. We got her now, and now she's crying. You idiot, that's what you get for messing with my customers. What did he do? Did he spank her? I'm guessing he did. I'm not going to forgive you if you're just crying. That should be enough. We got me stuff back, and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to teach this kid some proper manners. You never know when she might do it again. 
Don't worry about such minor stuff. I'll say it's already been forgiven. Let's just leave it at that. Besides, the little one's got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. <laughs> so you are from the Radical Dreamers. Hey, don't you call me a little one. I got a name too, you know. It's Mel. Ooh, how feisty. So she's got real spirit too. But weren't you crying just now? Or were you just faking it? I'll tell you, she's going to be a real mean one when she grows up. <laughs> yep. What you mean by that? Whoops, I guess he's still just a little un. Don't forget. Don't worry, just forget it. I said don't you call me a little un. Ha <laughs> Hey, are you sure you want to leave it at that? I just don't get you. Oh well, no use bothering with it now. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Come and find me when you're ready to go. Yeah, no problem, kid. Alright, let's get moving then. So, does it let me... Yeah, I have to pick another party member. Uh, let's bring in little Razzly. Because she's the cute one. And she's actually quite good, <laughs> magically speaking. You say anything else, Mel? Mel won't cause any more mischief, but promise to play with me again. No problem, kid. If I'm ever in the area, I can't imagine I ever will be, so... Probably never see you again for the rest of the game. I gotta figure out how to get back. There we go. Let's hit the docks. I think I could go back to the Dragon Shrine now if I wanted, but yeah. Let's see... I don't think anybody here says anything I care about, so I'm just going to head straight to the docks. Hey, buddy. You want to go back to Termina? Uh, yeah, let's go back to Termina. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, but this is goodbye. Korcha left your party. <coughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you didn't think he was going to actually be a permanent party member, did you? Nah. Come on, Razzly. So I guess, I think there's a place where you can visit, and I won't spoil it, we'll actually end up going there later. There's a place where you can visit Razzly's fairy brothers and sisters, and I think they say something like, even though they can fly, they can't really fly very far, if that makes sense, so... If you're wondering why Razzly doesn't just fly around to, you know, why does she need to get on a boat? Eh, it's because she can't fly very far. She's like Tails from Sonic 3. It's like you can fly for a little while, but then eventually you just kind of tire out. You gotta recharge. Anything? No, I wanted to talk to him again. Anything else? Here we are in Termina. You're on your own from here. Okay. See ya, buddy. Now, let's see what we can see in Termina. Oh! There's that, uh... There's Glenn. Talking to that lady again. The General and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There has been word that Major Power of the East Poor is up to something suspicious. They seem to have heard rumors of the Frozen Flame in El Nido and are coming to investigate. My, then that means the Poor Army might invade at this time... at this town at any time now. I wonder if we'll all be all right. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. That fort is far from town, so it is not used normally, but it has good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Riddell, but... But what? She felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left, so... So... Oh, I says, did you hear that? While I was snoozing away in Galdo, Lynx and his mob hardtailed it out of the manor. The fort's supposedly a ruin built by the extinct Dragonians. I heard there's been all kinds of mystic rituals there. It said that the Dragon Tear was headed for the rituals. Or the Dragon Tear was needed for the rituals. What are they up to now? Say, this is no longer just our problem. If we don't stop these buggers now, they're going to cause some major to hell around here. Hmm. Fort Dragonia is on the top of Mount Pyre, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get there by land, so the question is how we're going to get a boat. Hmm? What? Hey, guy. Blonde braids, a blood-red blouse. That sounds like the description of that thief from Radical Dreamers. Hey, buddy. Calm down now. And that red bandana. 
He is just like the ghost Karsh was describing. I'm no ghost. So what? You want to take us on or something? Sorry, Dory, but we're in a bit of a rush to that Fort Dragonia of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my sword if need be. Oh, Glenn, stop that. Your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstances. Hmm. Leave my brother out of this. Oh, I don't get your knickers in a knot. I don't care if you draw your sword or what, but I ain't stopping for you. See ya. Kid, that mouth's gonna get you in trouble one day. All right. Forgive me for my rash behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I shall follow my own way to find the truth. Bye. Why don't you join us, dude? If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat, first head north, and then east, you should find a small island there. A retired dragoon now lives there. Find him and ask him for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about that fort, you know. You never know what to expect there. Now I guess he's not going to join our party. Too bad. That would have been cool. All we need to do now is find a boat. Let's get and move on. And if I talk to the lady again, she'll say, uh... Glenn is always like that when I bring up something about his big brother. His brother being such a brilliant man must be hard on him. I guess so. And they mentioned the Dragon Tear. Um, they explain it in the Don't Save Kid Path. The Dragon Tear was the orb on top of General Viper's desk that seemed to react to Serge. So there you go. So, we need a boat. Let's see if Korcha will be willing to take us. Hey, kid. Got another favor to ask you. You guys need to cross the sea? Then I might, just might, think about lending you my boat. With two conditions. Ha! <laughs> well, that clunky boat of yours, I don't think we're gonna survive a round trip. Well, I guess this ain't the time to be picky. So, Korcha, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the dragon tear, give it to me. What? The other condition is, w w uh, once all this ruckus is over, um, I want you to, um, in, in my life. What was that? Stop mumbling and speak up. I can't hear you. I, uh, uh, uh I want you to be my wife. Huh? What did you just say? <laughs> He's all red. I said I want you to be my wife. Ha, ha, ha. Look how red he got. Oi, Korcha, don't mess with me. I'm going to kick your ass so hard, you'll kiss the moons. All right, kid, that line was funny the first time you said it, and this is, what, the fifth time? I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I, um, uh, uh that it was, a uh, love at first sight. Don't trust love at first sight, kids. Hmm. Oi, do you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't ya? Don't you worry, I don't care about your past, and I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until all this fuss is over, so please... Well, we got two options here. Let's just say, let's just just tell him that you... What, what happens if I say refuse? And she kicks him pretty much in the balls. Say, it's just it's not your business. It's my own problem. Or I could say, just tell him that you will. Same, same reaction. <laughs> okay, understood. But this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it. Until I settle the score with Lynx, that is. That's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. Alright, that's all I need for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on a small island to the east? Hey, you be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. Oh, hush, buddy. I'm the protagonist of this RPG. Clearly, I am the one that kid is going to fall in love with. It's the rule of RPGs. Oh, kid, you're blushing. Do you want me to come with you? Sure, let's take him with us. Korcha joins your party permanently this time. Yeah, he's one of the uh, other characters. He's the second of your three recruitable characters from this path. You don't get him if you choose the other path. No big loss, though. Razzly's the only one I care about. And if you don't recruit him into your party, this happens. Okay, I'll be heading home now. Remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it. Take care. What are you going to do, dude? How are you going to head home without your boat? I don't see... Are you going to, like, hitch a ride on another boat? What are you going to do? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. You're just going to swim back. Why not? Yeah. 
Okay, that's kind of a long swim, but not a problem. Alright, I'm going to pause for a minute and see if there's anything else I can do here in Termina. Alright, now that we got a boat, we can just uh, examine it and we can board the boat. Okay, now we have free reign of the El Nido continent. Yay! We can go anywhere, just about anywhere. There's a few places we can't go to. This is Gaia's Nivelle. It's in purple text, that means we can't get there. Um, this here is the Sea of Eden. It's also in purple text, which we can't go into. And uh, uh, I don't want to head to Mount Pyre just yet. I want to show you something real quick. This little channel up here is supposedly what leads to the mainland. And as you can see, the tides are flowing against us, so we can't actually get up there. You'll never, ever, ever be able to go to the mainland in this game. Just accept it. Anyway, once you've gotten a boat, there's something you can do at Goldove. So. What we want to do is we want to go back to uh, Korch's house or Macha's house or we want to go to the Cha's residence. And yeah, that, that chef in uh, Viper Manor, Orcha, he's obviously here from Goldove. I don't know what if he has any relation to these people or whatnot. Maybe he's Macha's brother. I don't know. But if we go down here to Mel's room, Make sure kid's in your party. Talk to her. No, don't go up her bed. Let's talk to her. Oh, Blondie! Um, I have something that I wanted to discuss with you. Oh, yeah? What's that? Blondie. Huh? You need to talk to me. Go ahead. Speak up. Um, Mel would like to speak to you in private if possible. Sure, whatever. That's fine with me. And they're gonna... So what you want to talk to me about? They're going to talk about taking over the world, I guess. Actually, I, um... Yeah? We don't get to hear it. Girl talk. Sure, you got it. This problem was driving me up the wall, too. Mel, I understand your feelings real well. Don't you worry. I won't let... I won't get in your way. I have no idea what they were talking about. Thank you, kid. Then please take Mel with you. Oh, and kid, take this as a token of our promise. It's a special frame made in Goldove called Goldovian Stitch. It's got a cool looking pattern, so I'm sure you'll like it. Kid received the Goldovian Stitch frame. Woo! Yay, you don't get that frame if you choose the other path. And Mel joined Chapati. Yeah, so she's the third character you can recruit from this pathway. You don't get her if you don't take this pathway. And I'm not going to bother putting her in the party. Oh, rats, Mel has to stay behind. That's no fun. Yeah, she refers to herself in the third person sometimes. Let's check her out. Yeah, I don't know what the, the little thing they were talking about was. You got me. All right, so she's yellow elemental. She's a doodling brat. She's 10. Wow, she's really young. And yeah, all that stuff. Now, her weapon of choice is a boomerang. And hey, what's nice about a boomerang is uh, it works like a rod when you hit... When you do a fierce attack, it attempts to attack all enemies. So that's kind of nice. Um, but I really don't care for her that much, so I'm probably not even ever going to use her. Although, if you're interested, she has the Snatch, which is a lot like Steel, like Pilfer. I'm not sure what the difference is. And she has a Dual Tech with Kid, um, which I haven't really explained Dual Techs. Uh, certain characters, you have them in the same party, they can do Dual Techs. Um, watch my main run. We'll get somebody else who has a really cool dual tech with Serge, and um, I'll explain it in more detail then. I'll probably even show it at times. Dual techs just aren't that useful to me in this game. Now, that one is, because it's really good tech, but... Well, the thing, the nice thing about the one I'm talking about in my main run, it's a physical tech with Serge and another character, and Serge and this other character end up getting, by the end of the game, they end up getting super-duper weapons, and that just makes that old tech even more powerful because it's physical base, you see. Now, 
Yeah, I guess this is fine. I'm gonna do one more thing real quick. So yeah, Razzly and Korcha and Mel. There you go. Razzly or Korcha and Mel are not that great, but Razzly is quite good, so. And if you choose the don't save kid path, you get a really good character, and again, two average characters, so make your decisions. The, I wanna go to this place real quick, um, Marble Shore. I'm not even gonna explore it. Um, all I'm gonna tell you is that the people here do not like us because they're all demi-humans and they do not like us. <coughs> so I'm not even gonna explore anything, I'm not gonna talk to anybody, I'm not I'm going to buy something from this dude right here. And he he still deals with non-demi-humans. He's got some buffs that I wanna buy. Eagle Eye, which increases your hit percentage. I wanna buy three of those because those are amazing. And he has strengthen, which Temporarily increases your attack power, and I want to buy those three because they're ama amazing. You use Eagle Eye on a character, and for a temporary amount of time, their hit percentage is at 99%. So you could start off with Fierce Attacks right from the get-go. That's pretty good. And Strengthen, you can make their attack power even more powerful. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be making use of that. Uh, if you want to see, I probably won't even explore anything in this main run. Um, we got Kid back, so you would think the main run ends here, or that this run ends here. I'm going to take it a little bit further. We, we're going to attempt to go to Mount Pyre. Well, actually, we want to go to the to the place where this old hermit lives. And then we'll see about going to Mount Pyre. I'm going to do a... We still got a little bit more of this run to go. There's still some things that about this run that are different than the main run that I want to show off. And one of them has to do with Razzly. Until then, I am 480 Volts. Join me for the next edition of Let's Play Chrono Cross Plus. See ya!